In the far-off distant island world of the Philippines, is it possible that an ancient hominin ancestor of modern Homo sapiens walks amongst us until this very day? Or at least it's ancient DNA? There's a well-talked about and mysticized people on the ground in the Philippines referred to as the Aita, which have been archaeologically and scientifically verified to be the oldest population group to have inhabited the Philippines. Even modern-day Filipinos refer to them as the first Filipinos. The Aita are more specifically from the Cagayan region of northern Luzon. The Aita's migration even predates the Austronesian migration, which is known to be one of the earliest ever verified in Southeast Asian migrational patterns. Many researchers have postulated that the Aita are the descendants of Kalau Man, referring to the remains found in the Kalau Cave first explored by Theodore Roosevelt III, eldest son of President Roosevelt. He created the national park system within the Philippines and made Kalau Cave National Park one of the first within that system in 1932. In 2007, a team of Filipino and international archaeologists led by Sir Armand Mijares uncovered human fossils. Uh, these remains have now been verified as dating back 67,000 years ago and are now classified as the newest addition to the early human family tree as Homo luzonensis. This study will use cutting-edge ancient DNA extraction and analysis technologies on the remains found within the Kalau Cave system of Luzonensis to compare against already analyzed ancient DNA derived from other early human uh, ancestor fossils previously uncovered within the region such as that of the very mysterious Denisovans, Homo erectus, and Homo floresiensis, but also embracing the rich oral histories and traditions of the Philippines um, that of the account that the Aita were the first Filipinos, along with the theory already postulated by many prominent researchers that they are the descendants of Homo Luzonensis, uh, backed up by the facts that um, the Aita homeland is located within the exact location that the Homo Luzonensis uh, remains were found. And um, similar physical characteristics as well, such as uh, height and uh, tooth size. Uh, the already well-documented uh, DNA evidence that other early human DNA has been found in living populations in the region until this very day, uh, that most prominently uh, of the Denisovan DNA uh, currently found in um, existing populations. We will compare the Luzonensis DNA to that of the modern Aita as well to determine if the mounting scientific evidence in cohesion with the rich oral and written traditions in the Philippines is correct, but also to help provide clarity on a still very mysterious time in early human history. This theory that great diversity amongst early humans was present in ancient times, uh, interbred and interacted with one another, ha has already been verified in other cases. We must ask ourselves now, is it possible? Does Luzonensis walk amongst us? Or at least, it's DNA.